Paris. Is coming from. We'll get to the bottom of this. Gnarly. God, I can't believe this. I gotta find who's responsible for this. find the person dumping this garbage. Hi, can I help you? Is this yours? What is this? 10W30, 10W40 maybe? Where did you find that? I was surfing out at the beach and I found it in the water. My garbage ended up at the beach. That's right. But I thought that the water from the storm drains was clean before it went into the ocean. No. Most storm drains empty into rivers, streams, or the ocean. Here in Portland, some storm drains flow right into the bay, and others are connected to combined sewage overflows, or CSOs, which under normal conditions send the water to the city treatment plant. But when it rains a lot, like last night, the CSOs dump untreated water and raw sewage directly into Casco Bay to help keep the city treatment plant from being overwhelmed. Geez, I had no idea. Yeah, unfortunately a lot of people don't know about that. Here, let me take the rest of that. All that sewage must be really bad for the beach. Yeah, it is. That's why the uh, Friends of Casco Bay are running there. Teach your community not to dump down storm drains program. Really? How does the campaign work? Well, it all starts with the kits they're putting together. The kids teach how to create stencils to spray paint messages near the storm drains that say not to dump in them. Who gets the kits? Uh, mostly local schools. They send kids out to. Oh, you know what? There's a group working on your street right now. Hey, hey Super C! Hey, kids. All of these kids know you? A lot of people know me. So, how does this work? Well, you get the kit with the essentials, of course. A stencil and a can of spray paint. Then it's just a matter of laying down a smooth, even coat while staying safe. So, anyone can just grab a can of spray paint and start cracking? Well, it isn't rocket science, but there are a few things you'll need to know. 
After you decide where to stencil, you're going to want to let the community know ahead of time. So knocking on doors and handing out pamphlets is a good idea. Also, you'll want to wear old clothes the day of. The spray paint tends to find its way onto many more things other than just the stencil. Oh, bummer. Everyone wants their gear to stay fly. The old sneakers, pants, and a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty are a smart idea. When it comes to the paint, you also might want to consider bringing a sheet of cardboard to block the wind and plastic bags to carry away the wet stencils. Make sure you don't leave the wet sides together or they'll dry and stick. Yuck! Weather over 50 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal for paint to dry. Also, make sure to watch out for traffic and keep away from unfamiliar animals you see around the neighborhood. Getting hurt is the first step towards improper stencil making. I'm glad you were here to teach me everything today, but if there comes a day when you're not around, how will I know what I can do to keep from polluting Portland Harbor? Well, you can find all kinds of information about how to help your local watershed by visiting friendsofcascobay.org. So, uh, do you want to ride home in my car? Oh, no thanks. I'm not into cars. Later. Just enough time to snag a few more tasty ways before dinner. <laughs>